It's day 163. Anas at the service of the Prophet. Next to the Prophet's house in the sofa, Anas, the adorable child, settled down. In the morning, he used to get up before anyone else to run to serve the Prophet. He used to pray every morning behind the Prophet. Anas' father had died many years ago. His head was always down because being fatherless was making him sad. But from now on, there was someone who could who would love him and protect him like a father. The Prophet had made him forget the pain of being fatherless. Anas was really happy with the Prophet. The Prophet was instructing him in the best possible manners. He wanted him to grow up to be a well-mannered, well-behaved, intelligent man. From time to time, he used to give him advice. My son, when you leave your house and meet the Muslims without leaving anyone out, greet them all. If you do this, you will come back home blameless. As you enter your house, also greet your family. This will bring blessings to you and to your household. Because the Prophet loved and was so close to Anas, he would often make jokes with him. Since Anas listened to him with all ears, he used to call him Anas with two ears. Anas would respond to this word smiling, and he would listen more attentively. He wanted to be with the Prophet for his whole life. He was happiest when the Prophet was weaving every word into his heart like weaving a carpet. My son, don't have any hatred in your heart against anyone. If you are able to remember this is my sunnah, my tradition. Whoever follows my sunnah will be considered one who loves me, and those who love me will be together with me in paradise. After hearing these words, Anas decided to do everything the Prophet did. These things were and are still called the Sunnah. The Prophet even taught him how to drink water. Drinking water in three breaths would rid you of your thirst even better. It was healthier. Anas would practice whatever he heard from him throughout his whole life. He had made up his mind in this matter. Gradually, he was realizing what a priceless thing it was to live with the Prophet.